Hello, everyone. I pray that God is blessing you. I pray that you are using wisdom, biblical wisdom, not earthly, silly wisdom. Don't use that. Let me say this. <clears throat> If you are married now, or let's say you are planning to get married, I think there are so many people who may think they know what they are talking about when it comes down to marriage. But let's say you are married now and let's say someone is advising you about marriage i think it would be wise i guess if it be possible look at their marriage if or look at their relationships if they are constantly bouncing from man to man or woman to woman why would you listen to that person i guess if that person says two plus two is four or the sky is blue i guess information like that may be true when they say it but in general if they are not stable in relationships as in they are not married or they continue to bounce and bounce from relationship to relationship why would you think much of their advice is sound because if it was sound why isn't it working for them think about that you know so much about marriage, but you aren't married. Or you continue to bounce from relationship to relationship. Look at that person's character, if it be possible. If that person is naive, gullible, I guess those are the same thing. If they are not humble, if they are very prideful, arrogant, conceited, or whatever else like that, excuse me, why would you listen to them? If you listen to them, won't you become more like that person? Or won't your marriage become like their marriage or their relationships. Some people aren't qualified to tell you anything about your marriage. I can see if someone comes to you and say positive things like, hey, you should pray about your marriage, uh, fast, um, ask God to reveal to you what is going on, act humble, act meek. If someone is giving you biblical, advice on marriage good but if people are giving you ignorant advice about your marriage you need to turn your back on that advice and maybe not really approach that subject with that individual or people i believe some people are following ignorant advice and messing up their marriage. I am trying to tell you. When I was younger, I wasn't married, but when I was younger, I was told to do something that would have probably messed things up for me. Something that I would have probably regretted so much. Ignorant advice. I thank God I spoke to an older person 
that is in the situation that I guess I was going to go into. And I believe that person told me what I need to prepare for if I will go down that route. And I thank God that person spoke to me because his advice was sound. But my so-called friend at that time gave me foolish, ignorant advice that I thank God I did not do because maybe I would have problems right now because of it. Thank God I did not do what that friend told me to do and he is no friend now. Sometimes, I would say, sometimes people you may call a friend may be jealous of you, may be envious of you, may not like may not like that you are having less problems than they. So they may try to sabotage your life because of their unhappiness. Please listen to what I am saying. Everyone is not your friend. Everyone you claim to be your friend, it's not your friend. Meaning some of them are, may not be your friend. Stop trying to make so many friends. Stop trying to hang out with so many people. I believe out of a group of people you call friends, maybe a small minority of them are really your actual friend. I am trying to tell you. Be careful of that advice you take from people. I am telling you, you may be doing wrong things to your wife or to your husband based upon information you received from an ignorant person or a person that may try to mess up your relationship. Maybe that man wants your wife Maybe that is why that man is telling you to do things to your wife that you should not. Maybe that woman wants your man. Maybe that is why she is telling you to do stuff to mess up your marriage so she can get with him. Ah, oh, listen, man. Everyone is not your friend. Everyone doesn't have your best interest in mind, meaning many people don't have it in mind. So you have to be careful. I would say the less friends you have, the better. Unless they are really true friends. I think many people you call a friend is really an associate someone you can laugh with and maybe you know do some things with maybe that person is only an associate i believe a friend goes much deeper than just hanging out and stuff like that but let me just stop right here may god bless you